Okay, well this isn't going to be pretty. Let's see if we can uh, make a go at this. I've got to factor everything down here. That's the first thing I'm going to do. So if I factor everything, I'm going to have a t and a t. I have opposite signs. doesn't matter how I put them in. And I've got to, uh, let's see, I've got to multiply to give 12, but combined to give 1. So what would that be? 12 and, oh, 4 and 3. 4 and 3. And where should I put the 4? I want the bigger thing to be positive, so I'll put a 4 and 3 here. That looks like it works to me. Now I'm going to subtract off, and now I'm going to factor this bottom, the second bottom. So I've got t and t, uh, same sign, they're both negatives. Uh, multiply to give 12, combine to give uh, 7. So I think, uh, let's see, 2 and 6, no, but, but 3 and 4 I think will work pretty well. And the last thing, happily, is the difference of two perfect squares. So I can say t plus 4, t minus 4. Okay, well that's how we're looking, and now what is that least common multiple? Uh, let's see, I'm going to need one of these. In fact, let me just write down the least common multiple. So the least common multiple, so that's the smallest thing that they, you know, I can put together so they're all going to be, I'll need one of these. It's like you're in like a deli. I'll have one of those, and one of those, I'll need one of these. See here, I, happily, I already have that. So I don't need any more of them. I have enough. Oh, any more of those? No, 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 no. Take that out of the bag. I don't want that one. I already have one of those. What about this? Well, this I don't have yet. Looks like I do, but I don't. Do I need any of these guys? No. I've already got them in my bag, so I'm fine. So in fact, this is the least common multiple. This is the least uh, thing that I can use as the denominator for this thing. So now let's um, see if we can. This is actually going to require a, a two-page spread here. Let's try something really neat live. I wonder if I can just sort of raise this a little bit. Look at this. I just raise this right up to here. Let me see if I can keep writing. All right, so if I get now the least, uh, in fact, let me even push this higher. Okay. Now, if I try to get the, um, the common bottom here, let's see what the common bottom would require me to do. This is going to be the common bottom everywhere. So that's the common bottom. What do I have to multiply top and bottom here? To get this. Well, I already have that. I already have that. Ah, I need this. So top and bottom here is going to be multiplied by t minus 4. And then I'm going to see t plus 4, t minus 3, and t minus 4. So there's that bottom I'm trying to get everyone to have. So multiply top and bottom here by this. Now I'm going to subtract off. What do I need here? Um, got this and got that, but don't have this. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom here by t plus 4. t plus 4 on top, and now I've got a t plus 4 factor on the bottom, plus all the other factors we had before, which we had great fun with. So notice the common bottom when I have this factor, and then plus the last one, well, notice I've got those guys already in the picture, but I need this one. So top and bottom by t minus 3. All over, and I'm just going to put down the common. The same one as this. OK? So that's where we are. So now the bottoms are all the same, and so I can combine the tops just as I, as I would. Uh, oh, boy. Getting to the end of the pad. You know, these things are quite complicated. One day I'll, I'll tell you how these work, but not today. Not today. OK, so now what I can do here is the following. I can now just combine these things. But remember, I'm subtracting here. Let's not make subtracting mistake, classic mistake number four, which is to not subtract everything. You've got to share the negativity. So I've got to subtract the t and subtract the four. So it's all over the common bottom of t plus 4, t minus 3, and t minus 4. I'm not going to multiply that out, and you shouldn't either. In that saves a lot of work. But now let's combine things. I have a t, and then I have a minus t, so that actually drops out. But then I have a plus t. So this all gives me just the net gain of t. Net gain of t. Oops. And then I see a minus 4, a minus another 4. 
Remember, I've got to share that negativity. So a minus, a negative 4 is minus 8, and another minus 3 is minus 8, minus 9, minus 10, minus 11. So that's minus 11 on top. And so that's the answer. Any cancellation? I don't think so, and I would leave it just like this. So that was sort of an extended big problem, but at least it gives you a chance to see how to find that least common multiple and then multiplying tops and bottoms by the appropriate things to get that all in shape. Anyway, I'm ready for a shower. Maybe you are too. I think we had enough of adding and subtracting rational expressions. <laughs>